folks and welcome to Project Sky Shark Part 4 where I'm going to be doing my level 2 and hopefully going through the sound barrier. It's going to be pretty extreme so let's not waste any time and get on with it. Okay folks, here you can see the motor I'm going to be using for my level 2. It's a Pro 38 a 6 GXL casing which you can see at the back right here and then the uh, motor I'm using I, uh, I'll show you is a J420. Uh, total impulse of 1,008 newton seconds, so broken through the 1,000 newton second barrier, as well as hoping to break through the one mile high barrier, and of course the sound barrier too. Just to give you an idea of the size, here it is, here's from one end to the other. It's pretty damn large, to be honest. There you go. And uh, you got there April 19th, 2012, so um, about two and a quarter years old, which is... Um, pretty standard for these ones. So now let's have a look at what sort of performance we can expect to get with this motor. Okay folks you can see we're now in rock sim so I shall open up the rocket and go in here you know the drill by now PK34 Shadowhawk open. Right so let us prepare for launch display engine list I mean here looking for CTI J420 classic and that's the one okay um, and I think I'll select 15 for now and we'll send on away so it's calculating and here's what we've got so uh, it's saying maximum altitude 7700 feet max velocity 769 miles an hour which is supersonic uh, 31g 18 and a half seconds to apogee um, and optimal delay of 16 seconds well considering I now know how the rocket flies a bit better uh, realistically I reckon we'd probably be looking about 800 miles an hour here and um, I actually only think we're going to get to about 6,000 feet so I think an optimal delay would be more in the region of 12 seconds so I reckon we'll try that, and, and that's and that's what I reckon we're gonna well rock. We reckon we're gonna get just looking at this and sort of factoring that in. So about six thousand feet and about eight hundred miles an hour. Well, let's see. Alright folks, as you can see, it uh, it didn't go so well, um, <laughs> it's in absolute pieces. As you can see, it's sort of come apart at the end there. Here's a fin, and what we think's happened is, uh, as it's approached the sound barrier, it's fluttered, and then uh, it's too much stress for this bottom part of the airframe, which is then just ripped to pieces and absolutely, uh, yeah, torn it to shreds. So, um, never mind, you know, I knew that was a bit of a risk when I was doing it, but uh, there'll always be another rocket in another time, so... Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.